Hello again, Tom from Every Step Calculus, Every Step Physics.com. We're going to do a physics problem regarding a modified Atwood machine, which includes the calculations for the pulley. And I'm going to show you how that works on my programs. I keep adding things all the time to make them better. Um, physics to get to the main menu. All in my instructions up to you. Uh, purchase my programs. And we're going to scroll down here to Atwood Machine. We have a regular Atwood Machine there, and then we have this one, Atwood Modified, and that's what this is. You choose that. And the reason it's modified, when it's busy here, it's loading the program, but it takes a little bit first time you load it, but then after that it comes really up quick. And here you have M1 mass on the surface here, and then a pulley, and then a mass hanging from the string here, M2. And I give you these options. Here's the options we were given in the problem, test problem this came from, M1, M2, and then they give you the radius, and they give you the moment of inertia of that pulley, I. So we choose that to put the variables in. And we're going to enter the mass now. And we have to press alpha before we enter anything in these entry lines here. So we're going to, the problem gave me alpha 6 kilograms. And the hanging mass is alpha 4 kilograms. The radius was given as alpha 0.12 meters, number 3. You can scroll down or press the number, either one. Enter, and then the moment of inertia they gave you is alpha 0 0.09. And I always show you what you've entered so you can change in case you made a mistake. That looks pretty good to me. I'm going to say it's OK. I'll show you the free body diagram of this system. You have on the surface here, M1 is on the table, or surface. And you, you draw it just like this on your paper, because they ask you this in a test. M1, is, you have T1 over here. Okay. And the free body of the mass hanging, M2, is you have tension up here and you have the force of gravity down this way, okay, which is mg, mass times gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared. And then you draw a circle with the center for the axle of this pulley, and you put the Ti look facing that way, and you put the T2 facing down, okay. So you're off to a good start. We're going to find the acceleration of the M2, the hanging mass. Actually, the acceleration is the same all over the, the uh, system. And first we find the force of gravity, which is M2 times G, 4 times 9.8, which is 39.24 newtons, OK? And the, we have to set up the two formulas and substitute them. So we got for T1 is equal to the tension of the string that is attached to M1. It's on the surface. And that M1 is on the surface. And it equals M1 times acceleration, MA, OK? That's Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. And then Tension 2, T2 is for M2, attached to M2, and that equals T equals M2 times G, force of gravity, minus M2 times A, okay? And here's the way you get that. And then torque is involved because torque is a turning force, and that equals the force times the radius, or it equals the moment times the angular acceleration, which is, I tell you about it here.
and then we start the calculations. T2, the torque 2 minus torque 1 is equal to the moment times angular acceleration. And then we start to, here's the force times the R, which torque is equal to, minus the T1 times the radius. We substitute what we found for the T2 is M2G minus M2A, and we're going to multiply that times the radius, minus M1A times the radius, etc. Now we're going to convert angular to linear acceleration, which is linear acceleration is A, and then equals the angular acceleration times the radius. So we substitute that and we put it in here for the, all the A's in linear accelerations. Okay. Then we multiply it through the R. Here's R times mg m2g, and we get, and then we that becomes m r squared in this here, and r squared here m1 acceleration times angular acceleration times r squared. <coughs> And then we want to get all the uh, angulars on the right side of the equation, so we transpose everything here with the proper signs, of course. And we left M2GR over here, force of gravity times R over on the left side, okay? And now we factor out angular acceleration here. And then we divide this side of the equation by all of this here, okay, which is right here. We convert again angular acceleration, you divide by radius, so angular acceleration is equal to linear divided by r. I'm going to substitute that. So here we're substituting here, you notice we multiply times r. Imagine doing this all by memory. I mean, I probably could do it because I've studied it for about a week and a half to do this program, find out all this stuff that's involved. And um, so we isolate linear acceleration. We get R squared here. Basically, we're doing algebra. To be a genius at algebra to do this stuff too, you know. So we divide out R squared, and we get remove it from the numerator here, and we can't remove it from the moment, so we have to leave it there, divide by the, the moment by r squared, and we can certainly take it out from m1 and m2 where they appear, okay? So we do the calculation. We just put in the variables that we found before, right here, all the variables, and we come up with 2.4148 meters per second squared. Now I show you the angular acceleration, which is linear time divided by the radius. So here's linear divided by the radius and 20, what is it, 20.123 rads per second squared. And then we can go back and find the tension in the strings. T1 is equal to 14.489, which is the M1 times the acceleration we just found. And two T2s in that formula that we found at the beginning of the problem. We add the variables and come up with 29.581. Pretty neat, huh? Every step, physics.com. Go to my site, buy my programs, and pass physics. And you'll have it for the rest of your life in your TI-89 titanium. You know, you can throw out your physics books. You, n you notice how much that helps you. And professors don't help you either. They teach theory and then test on mechanics. So this is the greatest thing you ever buy if, for physics, okay, if you want to get through physics, okay? Have a good one.